Hi everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our Harmony One technical analysis update for today. If you are enjoying this daily content, do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and definitely do join that Discord group in the description below if you are interested. If you're getting any value out of this channel and you're looking for a new cryptocurrency exchange, I've currently switched over to CEX.io. It's a really good platform with really quick withdrawal system and really reliable straight into your bank account. So it's a really good one for if anyone's trying to transfer from Binance with all them issues. And it's also just one click of a button to buy any of your cryptocurrencies and your altcoins, as you can see here guys. So if you are interested in getting started, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. So definitely do check it out if interested. This is the Harmony One token on a four hourly time frame, And I believe that we're in a bit of a bullish expanding triangle pattern, which is a bullish reversal pattern when it's validated. So I'm going to get into what could potentially happen here for the bullish scenario. And I'm, um, I'm going to show you some other indicators which could potentially be showing us that we're at a very good entry level if you are trying to be profitable in Harmony 1. So if you want to see the bullish scenario playing out here for the Harmony 1 token and you want to see a bullish reversal trend actually validated, what you want to see is you want to see us getting above this um, resistance, this ascending resistance, and you want to back test it. Now if you do back test this level, you do have a potential for it to be this 8.6 cent. And you can see that this was a key um, that that was a key resistance level in the past on the 13th of July and also around the 10th of July as well. So it's definitely a key resistance level that you're going to want to back test if it does match up to that. And then from there, if you did manage to see that back test, this is where that nine cent region's playing in. Then you're going to back test the nine cent and go on to this 9.3 cent level. So that's just a bit of a process if you do want to see that bullish reversal trend occur. And I'm just going to share with you the stock RSI in this four hourly time frame which is something I don't usually do because I, I don't usually think it's too effective on the 4 hourly. However, one thing that I have noticed is that it's a very, um, it kind of lacks any lag. So it's very reactive to price action, especially on these lower time frames. And you can see with the RSI, uh, sorry, the Stotch RSI, if I do just make that little pattern there, you can see that this pattern is clearly playing out on this, um, on this kind of pattern here as well. Can you see how that's very similar, guys? So what this means is that potentially the fact that we are at the bottom of this Stotch RSI, and I'm just going to make this nice and big for everyone so you can see it. So you can see that we're clearly at the bottom of this um, Stotch RSI here. And essentially we're at the bottom of this, um, this support level as well, which we have confirmed as a support. We confirmed that as a support once again on the 27th of July when we did see that back test. Can you see that, guys? And we also found a nice support level on that region, obviously on... Um, on the 20th of July as well. So it's definitely a key support level. You can see that we've managed to find a bit of a bounce from that overextended level on the Stotch RSI, and we are looking to get back above. So you can see all this room that we've got right now to kind of increase, and hopefully this is what we're gonna use in order to take out this, um, uh, we're gonna use all this momentum essentially to take out this resistance level, back test it, and take out some of these key, uh, some of these key resistances. And one, the key indicator that's showing me that this will happen is that when we were at the top here, can you see that this is where we hit the resistance? We hit the Stotch RSI there as well. When we did hit the resistance at this level here on the 23rd of July, you can see that the exact same happened. And once again, when we hit our resistance there, that's where um, we were on the 26th of July. So hopefully if we do see something like this, where we see the Stotch RSI manage to become overextended, this is where we're going to hit our resistance. And then hopefully we're going to back test it and continue. So that's the kind of process on that four hourly time frame that I'm hoping to get past. You can see that the volume has, we have had some nice volume in the past few um, hours. So we do want this to continue. If we do want to see this um, kind of change, if we do want to see that resistance level taken out, but I'm going to get into the weekly time frame right now and show you what I'm seeing there. So this is the weekly time frame for the Harmony One token. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Fibonacci retracement tool out. I'm going to match it to the top of this wave three. And I'm just going to be measuring this wave three in comparison to this wave four correction. So I'm just going to make that a bit bigger actually. So it's um, nice and overlapped. So it's overlapped with the price action. Now it's nice and accurate. And when I zoom in, you can see that where we wick down to is actually our 0.382, that 4.6 cent on the Harmony One. And this is actually a very key level where you do correct to in the, in the, um, the, in the wave four of this Elite Wave Theory. And this is where this 4.6 cent level came in. So this is where I do think that we have definitely bottomed out for, um, for Harmony One on this level here. So this is very healthy at the minute. And I do think that that is definitely where we've bottomed out. So definitely something to be looking out for. And we're currently finding a resistance on the 2.236, that 8.3 cent range. 
And what I've been saying for VeChain is if we do get above um, the 0.236, this is when we're going to see that green flag for the wave 5. And you can see that we're currently finding a very key resistance on that level for Harmony 1. So it's definitely something that I want to get above. We want to get above that uh, 0.146 if we do want to see that definite continuation towards our all-time high. However, this um, 8.3 cent region is something that we need to take out. And the way that we are going to take that out is if we do see that bullish expanding triangle, that bullish reversal trend occur, and we manage to see that um, 8.3 cent back tested, going on to the 8.6 cent back test that, then the 9 cent region is going to be um, very clear. And you can see that the 9 cent region is where we were finding resistance here, guys. On, a, on the 7th of uh, June, so it's definitely a level to be paying attention to. And essentially, we do just need to backtest that 0.236 level if we do want to go on for continuation. Now, when I actually bring the EMAs in here, you can see that we're currently finding a really nice support on the 7.1 cent, which is our 34 EMA. So all I want from this week is for us to close above 7.1 cent, and I do think it'd be healthy. I should actually round that up to 7.2 cent, sorry. And then our resistance level is clearly on this 0.236, which is also our um, 20 EMA. So that 20 EMA is coming in at around 8.2 cent. So hopefully that's um, where we're going to kind of back test on that resistance and then continue. And if we did see that happen this week, this would be really healthy and really bullish uh, for the future. As when we are above that 20 EMA, we've, we've been given that OK basically for the wave 5 bullish continuation. You are definitely in an uptrend if you are above that 20 EMA. And when I get the um, RSI in the weekly time frame up here, guys, you can see we're on that 49 level. So we've got loads of room to extend. And one thing that I'm seeing here on the Harmony 1 token on this Stotch RSI is I'm starting to see a little bit of a curve. Now, when we do actually manage to get into this 20 level, this is when uh, there's going to be a lot of signs that the sentiment in the market's changed. I'm starting to see that happen with Bitcoin. We're looking for it to happen in a uh, V chain soon, hopefully. The same with Harmony 1 here. We need that to kind of curve, get into that 20 level. That's going to share with me that we are actually in a really, um, we are in a good stage in this bull run, basically. The, the market's changed, the sentiment has changed. Now that, now that uh, Bitcoin's kind of above that um, $32,000 level, I should say. And hopefully we are going to be taking out that $42,500 in the next coming weeks. And then I do think that things like Harmony 1 are going to start to creep up in that, that momentum. Hopefully this will reflect on the RSI. Also on the volume, hopefully we see um, more kind of bulls stepping in. You can see in the past two weeks, you can see that we've had a nice kick in volume. Hopefully this can increase and uh, we can start to see an increase in that volume. Hopefully the RSI will do the same. And this is when we're going to start to see the Stotch RSI following it as well. And you can see that ever since this breakdown, um, since around April time when we started consolidating, we have just been in a bit of a straight line on this RSI. And one thing that we do want to see happen, and it's going to be a really good indicator, is if we do see that creep up and become a bit overextended, that's going to be showing us that the price action is uh, definitely going towards that wave 5 of continuation, and we're going to see some parabolic moves. So the Harmony 1 token fear and greed index, when measured by this artificial intelligence source of EVI.io, you can see that we've been given an EVI rating of C1. This C1 rating is essentially means that we have a crept up since that D rating. Last time we were looking at this, we had a D rating and not a C1 rating. So you can see that we have creeped up in that sentiment. We are waiting for that kind of Bitcoin um, sentiment to get into these other coins. We are currently finding a bit of an increase in some of them. However, we do want to see this um, fear and greed index kind of look a bit higher. This is when the RSI is going to reflect that. Hopefully the Stotch RSI is going to reflect the same. And then this is when the price action is going to increase. So you can see that the sharp ratio is just showing us that we have a high risk to reward um, ratio at the minute. Just showing us that we're in a very volatile coin, which is, um, I absolutely love volatile coins. It means that there's a lot more opportunity than, um, than there would be if not. And you can see that this is reflected by the liquidity issue. The liquidity issue allows this coin to be volatile. And we've got a firm profitability ratio of A1 meaning that the artificial intelligence source of EVI.io, which I'll be leaving a, li a link in uh, the description to, is actually sharing with us that it does think that the Harmony 1 token is a very profitable coin if you are to get in at the moment. And this is kind of reflecting where our Stotch RSI is, 
def- I always buy on the stock RSI right at the bottom when we are in a corrective wave. And uh, especially when we've been consolidating on that um, RSI around that 48 level. So I do think it's definitely a buy at the minute for Harmony 1. There's obviously going to be some better optimal entry points. However, I do definitely think that it's a very good buy if you are a long-term holder. So definitely do do your research into the Harmony 1 token. Make sure that you um, have a look at this Fear and Greed Index. It's always a really good indication to when you should buy the fear and when you should sell the greed. So this is a really good um, website to check out, evi.io. And that's our Harmony 1 technical analysis for today, guys. I'll be back with a video tomorrow. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate the support. Do make sure to join that Discord group if interested. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And definitely do check out that cex.io in the description below if you are interested in getting started with that new cryptocurrency platform.